I'm Ryan and welcome back to Ryan Cooks. Today I'll be making some baked snapper with Parmesan cheese. I like to call this crispy snapper. Um, so let me go over our ingredients. We have gutted but not unskilled red snapper, salt, pepper, uh, turmeric, and a little bit of lemongrass, which is here. Onions, bell peppers, butter, salt, and of course Parmesan cheese. So, let's get started. So, here we have our red snapper. It's not um, scaled yet, so to make our filet, first thing we're gonna have to do is unscale it. Just take any sort of uh, peeler. You can take a carrot peeler, and, or apple peeler, now it might make a little bit of a mess, so there's a warning. Sometimes when you take it, uh, the scales off, they go flying. You'll see that there's a little bit of white in the red snapper after you've gotten all the scales. Just do a little check, there's some scales still here. Check in the fish. Scales at the top. After we remove the spine, we'll get the scales that are still tucked away in the corner. Okay? And now we'll do the other side. So just flip it over. Remember to get the area by the spine. And there we go. We've completely scaled this red snapper. tail and just you can take as much time as you need sometimes it can be hard to get all these spines off now for the tail just going to get as close to the actual meat as you want Now for this fin, cut it right there, flip the fish over, cut, and then there's these bottom fins right here. And now we've definned and despined and descaled the fish. Now we're just gonna wash it and, and fillet it now. Okay, um, I have my fillet knife and the knife sharpener. I'm gonna sharpen both sides really well so it can really cut into the fish. And um, so there's also still the gills here. We don't we don't need the head, so we don't need to worry about the gills. And now we're just going to remove the meat. We're going to start at the tail here and cut along the spine. Oh, but before we do that, we're going to have to. Okay, we've completely got rid of that spine in the center. And uh, here's the head. You can just move that to the side or throw it out. So now we're, we need to cut these into different two pieces. So just cut it in half. And here. We can start our seasoning and rub. Now it's time to move on for our rub or seasoning for our fish. We have some peeled or skinned turmeric, some chopped lemongrass, salt, and peppercorn. So you want to take your masher, put in the ingredients, add your salt in, and just mash this. We're going to put in the peppercorn after this. all this is mashed. So just want to watch out for any debris. 
try not to touch any of the turmeric because it can really stain your skin for a while. And now, add our pepper. Okay, I think that's enough. We Our uh, turmeric is all uh, powder, and so is our pepper, and they should all be mixed together. So we can just put this to the side for now. And now we're gonna make a bed or something for our fish, which is just gonna be made out of our bell peppers and onions. Let's sharpen this a bit. Okay, put that there. And now, just cut your green, orange, or red bell peppers. You can use all three like we're doing here, or you could just choose your favorite flavor. You're gonna cut them into these small squares. Slices, like you've cut an apple. We're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. So push bake and set to 350. And now that's preheating. And as we wait, we'll just add our ingredients to the container. So just add the bell peppers. And then take our onion. mix all of our onions and bell peppers around, get an even distribution of flavor. And now back to our seasoning or rub, just mix it around a bit more until it gets to a yellowy orange color. And we have our red snapper here, so just take some of our seasoning, rub it on the front, and then you also want to t get a little bit on the back as well, so flip it over, a little bit of seasoning. Belly up, you don't want to show this on the back, rub our flavoring in, a little bit on the back, lay it in, belly up, last one, flavor, and just lay it down with the rest. butter or just normal butter. Spread that around a bit. And now it's ready to bake. We're going to wait for our oven to continue preheating and then we'll be ready. And put it in the oven. Close the door and set 
timer for 20 minutes. Now, again, that's uh, 20 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we'll wait. If you can look at the fish and if there's a little bit of red inside, you can add like three minutes or however many minutes you think. Let's check on our fish. It's completely white, so we don't have to do anything to it. We'll just take it out. This in here, and now we have some of our Parmesan cheese. Um, this is two cups, so you're gonna want to use one cup and just sprinkle cheese on. Maybe one handful more. Just get these areas. And here, we're gonna want to add our bell peppers, which is over here. And just sprinkle those. This is the other half of that red bell pepper from earlier. Okay. Now we're gonna put this back in the oven and to melt we're going to change the setting from bake to broil and then for broil you're going to choose low and then a timer for 10 minutes so we're going to let that broil for 10 minutes and remember put it on low and remember to change your settings from bake to broil now we wait our fish is done. You can still kind of hear it um, sizzling. And there is our baked red snapper with Parmesan cheese. You can see all the flavors have mixed around, juices, and our nice and crispy. Red snapper. I'm gonna have a little bit by eight. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit because it's so hot. And like all the foods that we have on this channel, they're all delicious. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Um, Thank you to all the people who have uh, supported this channel. That's why I have this new logo on my apron. Thank you. Goodbye.